Okay, this next one is flashback capture and play. Um, so most of y'all are already familiar with flashback capture. Basically, Logic is always monitoring your MIDI input and your audio input so that you can grab recordings even when you don't hit record. So for example, if I just play around with an idea here. And I'm like, okay, that's a cool idea. Let me go grab that. So you hit shift R and what that will do is it will recall, you know, that last MIDI recording that you played, even if you didn't hit record. So that's a really cool feature of flashback capture. Now, if you don't already know this in logic, you can press option K and this will bring up your key command assignments dialog. This will show you every single key command that logic has. So essentially every function from every menu in logic and and what you'll find is a lot of these do not have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. What I'm going to do is combine flashback capture with the play function. So let's just search up flashback and you'll see there's shift R for capture uh, flashback capture as recording. And then here we go. Flashback capture is recording and play. So let's learn by key position. I'm going to use option shift F for this F for flashback. And let me just play in something here. Shift option or option shift F. So this is just a really quick and easy way to get ideas down and immediately hear them. Option shift F. And then you go into that uh, MIDI data, edit it, get it on the grid, whatever you want to do with it. It's just a really quick way to come up with ideas and instantly hear those ideas.